Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today's tutorial is showing you how to make a one line, one field opt-in module in Divi. So in a lot of my child themes that I create, I like to have you know an email field and just the button and have them side by side. And that's not something you can do in Divi by default. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial. All right, so I'm kind of a fan of the single field email opt-in. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's just because it's minimal and simple and because people don't like filling in a lot of fields. So it's just always better conversion rate as well. Um, so let's get started here. So basically, you know, I'm not showing you how to use the Divi Builder. I'm not, you know, I'm not showing you how you can go in and style the email opt-in module. I'm just mostly doing this tutorial so you can have the CSS snippet that I provided to make this, you know, in line and make it work really great. So, you know, we're just starting out here in this tutorial over here on our blog. And of course, if you're on YouTube, it's linked in the description, but always be following the blog because that's where we have our, our uh, code snippet down here, of course, like always. Um, but really just to start, just go ahead and design your email opt-in. So I'm going to do that here, just really quick, you know, add, add it to the page and everything. So let's see, it's called email opt-in. That's the module. So really there's only a couple things that we need to do. Other than that, you can do whatever you want as far as, you know, creating the design and style, but I'm just going to show you a couple of things that we need to do. And that is under fields right here. We're in the content tab of the email opt-in and then um, under fields, make sure that you turn these off. So you're kind of left with, you know, these, these all turned off here. Okay. And the other thing that you have to do is in the design tab under layout, make sure that this is on body on top form on bottom you can see how it stacks there kind of puts you know this is the 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 body and then this is the form on the bottom and that's just going to help us later when we start you know making this in line okay obviously connect your email account here under you know the email account service provider and all that i'm using mailchimp whatever um, and then design this you know obviously you know, I doubt you like that background color and just whatever, you know, style this however you want. Maybe you want these to be rounded. Um, maybe I'll show you a couple at the end, a couple of the ones that I've just recently done. But um, yeah, just go ahead and style that. That's the main part that is essential. Now, back in our tutorial, all we need to do now is grab that CSS. So right here, and then I'll tell you what it's doing, but we're just going to paste it in. So right here we tell you where to add it in the child theme or in Divi. So you can be checking that out. I am going to show you live. So I'm going to be putting it in this page settings right here. And you can see already that look what happened. It moved the button up in line with this input field, right? So you can see that we, we we're already done in a sense. Um, the first part of the snippet, I have this explained in the written tutorial, but well, actually I should start with the media query. We wrapped it in a media query so that when you, when you shrink your screen size, like down to mobile size, like that, you'll notice that we don't want this subscribe button to be stacked here because it would, it would, it would take up most of the width of the screen. Okay. We don't want that now on tablet. You know we're okay with that because it still fits you know it still works and then on desktop so what we're doing is wrapping it in a media query it says min width 767 pixels and so anything you know above that is where this code is affecting anything below that as you could see was not being affected it was stacking like normal so first of all this always in a media query secondly we're targeting the the input field okay and what we're doing we're using a little trick and we use this on the search module tutorial where you say the width is, is 100%, but then minus a pixel value. And in this example, I'm using flex basis. Okay. That's, that's because it's using flex and we're not getting into that, but basically it's saying calc 100% wide. So it's saying, I want the, the newsletter fields to be 100% wide. Oh, but minus 225 pixels. So it's doing the math for you. 
So it's going to try to do that. And then the second part there is the actual button, like the button container, you might say. And that one we're saying is to 10 pixels. And you can change that to whatever you want. But the point is, you notice that there's a 15 pixel difference. So I'm going to um, I'm going to change it so you can see it right now. What if I make this 100? Well, look at that. Then we have this great big gap here. This number minus this number is the is the gap in between here. Okay. So we just have to you know we can make it. What did I have that? Two two ten. Okay. I like that one because it just works out great. So the width of the field and then minus the button and that way we're putting it in line like that. Now I'll show you a couple examples here of finished results of that. Here's one on a child theme that I'm going to be releasing soon. Um, it just looks really great, I think. Don't you think so? I, I think it looks great. Here's one on my Divi Photographer child theme that I just released. Um, and it just fits really well um, with having that, you know, the single field email opt-in there. It just looks great. It just works perfect. and. And I just really like how that turned out. Another one would be here on my Divi LMS for Learn Dash and Lifter LMS. Here you can see again I have a single field email opt-in in my footer. And there are other examples, but I really just wanted to give you, you know, an overview of what's possible. Um, and that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you found this to be useful and you can put this to good use. Let me see your designs when you're done. Post them in the comments. So if you would like to see more tutorials along this line with the opt-in module, let me know. I actually have some designs that I've created that are pretty unique. Um, and, you know, I thought about sharing them, putting them together in a tutorial. Let me know if you would like that. And I guess maybe more of a freebie, not than a tutorial. But let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. And we can work on that. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next video.